Hello, and welcome to my pastime while I'm not employed. On today's video, we're going to open up a video game because... Well, better get that price tag off there. Um, we're going to open up a video game because I don't have any phones to unbox. All the phones that I have are out of their boxes, including the one that you're watching out of, so... We're just going to go ahead and open up Steel Diver. For the Nintendo 3DS. I only picked the most topical games for my unboxings. This one came out in 2014, I believe. 2011, ha! Huh? Silly me. Yes, it came out in 2011. You know what else came out in 2011? The very first generation of the Nintendo 3DS system. That's this guy over here. Oh, so little, so small, so compact. Look at this little, tiny little piece of history. You know what the new one looks like? Oh, man. Do I even have it? I mean, that's, that's XL for you. That's big. That is chonky. Huge. Let's get that 3D effect going, too, so you can, you can look at that. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's pretty, pretty wild stuff, huh? Anyways, um, back to the unboxing. We're just gonna try and rip the uh, top off here. So Steel Diver, it's a game series that exists. It reminds me of Battleship. I don't actually know what it's like to play this game in particular. I played a different one. Um, they had this multiplayer game called Steel Diver Sub Wars. The in-game chat system was spelling things out using Morse code. <laughs> because thinking about the 3DS system buttons, right? Much easier to press the same button over and over again rather than try and spell something out using only four buttons or trying to like move the cursor around on like a keyboard while you're playing a game. I mean, it was so much easier. It was so, it was so much easier to just do the Morse code. And I got decently okay at it for a little bit there because it was just the way to do it. Like they had a really easy key that would allow you to see what all the letters were, so you could refer back to that while you were making your messages. But yeah, that was super cool. Online or local multiplayer. You're, basically, you were controlling the subs in first person mode. Oh man. Looking out of the periscope and firing torpedoes at the other subs and piloting them, moving them around and stuff. I have no clue if that's how this game works. I feel like it's a more strategic affair. You use the gyro sensor to take submarine combat to new visual depths. How about that? Here we got the inside. That's what it looks like. Get a picture of that for the thumbnail. Um, here we've got the manual. Games used to come with a manual. And it didn't just say, refer to the virtual manual. It wasn't just a sheet of paper. Like, there's actually information in here. Welcome to New Recruits Board of Directors for Steel Divers. It's got eyes only clearance on it. So you can, looks like there's missions. Submarine controls. Like it tells you how to actually Pilot the thing. Displays the geography of the area. Depth changes in level. So yeah, so you have like a little map. Looks like you have a slider to move up and down. A slider to speed up or slow down. Oh, you know what? This does look like you're actually just steering the submarine. This really does. It's got a pitch wheel, like there's a, oh, and apparently there's a sub called the manatee that doesn't have a pitch wheel. 
This is interesting. I'm I'm intrigued here. This really does feel like an actual game where you're actually in the seat. I thought for sure it was like a strategy thing where like you set up, you, you like aim the shots with a gyroscope, but then you're doing that for like a fleet of ships, kind of like Battleship or something. If you like Steel Diver, check out these other games. Look, we got Pilot Wings and Nintendogs. It's a little promotional thing. Si vous aimez Steel Diver, jetez un coup d'oeil à ces autres jeux formidables. Um, so, you know, presumably this was the Canadian version of the game because it had English and French on it. Little promos. These are other games. These were other launch titles for the system. Pilot Wings, which also was out on the Nintendo 64, and I believe they even had one for the Wii. And then Nintendogs, that was originally on the regular DS, not just the 3DS. Oh my gosh, I can earn exclusive points? Look at that, Club Nintendo. That's gone, by the way. You can't... This, this code is useless. It doesn't do anything. Club Nintendo is dead. They killed it. Uh, most importantly, we have the game itself, Steel Diver. Here it is. And yeah, I mean, that's the unboxing experience. You open it up, there's like some promos, there's a manual. That's kind of, that's kind of it, right? I mean, what else do you need? What more could you want? What more could you possibly want from an unboxing experience? Oh my god! Okay, well I gotta mention this. Steel Diver can be played with a human opponent using one game card and two 3DS systems. Yeah, you heard that right. You can use one game card using a feature called Download Play. But which is a really great feature. Download Play was amazing, and I'm sad that they got rid of it for the Switch. But, yeah, really handy for multiplayer games. Mario Kart 7 had it too. You basically wirelessly send a temporary copy of the game over to somebody else's system, and then they can play with you together. Um, so, Dang, this is fun. I'm gonna have to see if I can get my brother in on this uh, as well. Once I figure out how to destroy him ahead of time, that's important. But awesome. All right, Steel Diver 3DS launch title. That's it.